Within Kings, we do a lot of stuff which actually is actually across a lot of different disciplines. So the IoT so far has been a pure, let's say, connectivity thing. It's all about connecting objects. In reality, we would love to get the Internet of Things to the same level as we have the Internet today, that we forget, you know, how do you connect a computer to another computer, etc. We just focus on the applications, on the unique opportunities, on the Ebays and Facebooks and all that. So. To, to, to facilitate that essentially, what we're doing is we're bringing in you know, our robotics people, we're bringing in the you know, engineering in there, we're bringing in you know, medical surgeons, etc., our big data guys, computing guys, put all together, and we are building currently what we call this tactile internet where you literally uh, uh, span across different application domains to, uh, to, to build this next generation internet. So, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a very, very cross disciplinary thing very different from the traditional IT computing industry, very different from the traditional mobile industry. I would actually go a little further, which is to say that you know the Internet of Things is touching us and will touch us, that is, as citizens, in ways um, unlike any kind of um, technology has before. And whether it's in terms of our attitude to the world, where we're starting to predict and make sense of things that are far away from us, or whether it's to do with our capacity to affect things that are far away from us, um, uh, in terms of our, um, our kind of uh, effect on the cities around us, all these things kind of point to the idea that actually the Internet of Things' real impact is going to be socio-cultural more than just purely technological or technical. So that necessarily will encompass disciplines you know, across the spectrum. Uh, you know, I would include in that architects, uh, designers, um, sociologists, uh, uh, artists, philosophers, everything. You know, I think that, that, that the, the, sort of the, the, the design of the way we're going to relate to each other and the, and the people and spaces around us is necessarily must It's a, you know, it's, it's, it's a sort of a, it's a phenomenon, um, it's impacting us and will impact us. Whether we actually need to sort of say to people, you know, you must be aware of this phenomenon, how important it's going to be, you know, when, you, when it's described like that, I begin to think, well, maybe it's not going to be quite important. Actually, we see a lot of top-down now, a little bit like probably the internet 20 years ago was. It's very like industry-driven. Yeah, so you have a, you're trying to solve a specific problem in an industry, and uh, industry deploys it, and the city doesn't hear about it. That's it, right? So, but now the internet is totally different story. It comes like from the grassroots, really coming up, people deploying their own Wi-Fi routers, buying their own computers, uh, buying their own software, etc. So probably the IoT one, you know, will follow this kind of hockey-stick uh, thing, so that people at some point suddenly actually appreciate the value without being told it is important and then they themselves will start you know building this at home and uh, trying to, to build this IoT sphere around them and that really change their life so I think well, you know it, it will happen you know yeah but I think that once you know once the Internet of Things is a success it's actually not called the Internet of Things yeah anyway. it's so, just part of the fabric it's just there yeah I'm really cautious about making any predictions for the future. I am actually not interested in the future, I'm more interested in the near future. And in other words, what's possible now and how we actually kind of make use of what's available now to make the kind of decisions that are important right now. Um, you know, five years from now, who knows. Um, now as far as that is concerned, in other words, the kind of really near future, I think that um, What's most interesting to me are those kinds of situations where people can work together to test a hypothesis, to conduct an experiment, to collaborate on something in ways that they might not have in the past. And I think you know this is one of the things that the internet in general has kind of introduced to us. Apart from all of the sort of surveillance regimes that it comes with, um, that ability to sort of connect with each other and uh, and sort of make sense of the world together. So devices that are about home automation or about my own fitness are not that interesting to me. But devices like the kind of connected asthma inhaler that gives me a warning when other people have been in this location and needed asthma inhalers as well is much more interesting to me because that's where I'm actually making use of my sort of fellow 
uh, human beings' interactions with the world, in my own interactions with the world. 